What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are continuing our tear on the Master, trying to push a little bit higher in the ranks, but this time using a very fun team that features Tyranitar and Gallade. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But the first Pokemon for today team preview is going to be armors this team consists of armors and have an indeed combo very very strong in the master and if you're in high ranks and you're not using it you might be losing to it so so that's a problem it definitely is a problem but like i said armors gets us started here with weak armor and the weakness policy item it has the grass terror type so we can actually terrestrialize in the grass and then use it with our annihilate procking the weakness policy with u-turn and then just ultimately getting in indeed and just setting up that combo really really strong but moveset consists of heat wave Expanding Force, Aurora Spear, and Protect. Second Pokemon is going to be Indeedee. Like I already mentioned, we have the Indeedee and Armourish combo. So here goes the Indeedee. Indeedee has Psychic Surge, the Psychic Seeds, Psychic, Follow Me, Trick Room, and Helping Hand. Really like this combo. Really strong all around. Fluttermane is going to be our third Pokemon. Fluttermane, very solid Paradox Pokemon, very fast, has a high special attacking stat as well. This one has Protosynthesis alongside with the Life Orb, then Rock and Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, and Protect, which is probably the best move set for any Fluttermane. Annihilate is going to be our fourth Pokemon, Choice Scarf with the Vital Spear, and then a wonderful moveset for a Choice Scarf Pokemon. It's got that Final Gambit, it's got that Shadow Claw, Close Combat, and then last but not least, we already mentioned that U-Turn as its fourth and final move. Glade is going to be our fifth Pokemon. Glade is always so fun to use. This one has Sharpness alongside with Focus Ash. Sharpness allows cutting moves to actually do more damage, so moves like Sacred Sword and Psycho Cut, which are two of the moves that we have, are going to get a nice little boost due to that ability. It also has Shadow Sneak for first turn priority, and then it has Protect for its final move. Final Pokemon on today's team is one of my favorites of all time. It is going to be Tyranitar over here. Tyranitar is solid on its own due to its bulkiness with the Soul Vest and uh, its normal stats. And it's also great at weather control. So if we're going up against a rain team or a drought team, we can ultimately bring in Tyranitar to control that weather. This one has Sandstream, the Salt Vest like we already mentioned, and the move set is going to be Rock Slide, Crunch, Low Kick, and Terra Blast. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, rental code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Glade and Tyranitar team. So guys, my rank dropped a little bit. We are 12 and 6, but we're sitting at 2,702. I've only been pushing on the screen and recording for you guys. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying me showcasing my rank and just pushing for you guys. Because obviously if I want to push off screen, use a very good team. I think I could push a lot higher than this. I think I could definitely get maybe top 1,000, top 500 if I really wanted to. But like I said, I'm just using a bunch of random teams, having fun with it, and pushing pretty high at the same time. So we'll see. They end up going into... The first team is going to be Iron Valiant Trick Room Team. Okay, so I think Indeedee Armors might have to come out here. Very strong, very good all around. I mean, I could lead Indeedee. It is an option. It is definitely an option. I mean, I could go into Weakness Policy, Armors, and try to proc it with U-Turn and then get out Indeedee. That could be very, very good for us. So you know what? I think I'm going to try that. I think I'm going to try that Grass Terror right off the rip and then roll out strong with that. I really do like that. And then I could also bring in... T-Tar for back-end support, considering it is rather slow, and they have Torkoal. So I do like that. I actually kind of do like that. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to try to pull off this combo here in match number one. So our plan here is to just U-turn out onto our own Arm Rouge, or I can always final game. There's really not a problem with that. But I'm looking to U-turn out onto our Arm Rouge, proccing a weakness policy, and then bringing out Indeedy at the same time. Because after I proc weakness policy, I will also get a speed boost as well. And then I can bring out Indeedee and just send the, the uh, expanding forces like crazy. But they definitely look like they want to pop Trick Room with Indeedee, right? It seems like an option. Definitely seems like an option. And I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. If you want to pop Trick Room, that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. But we'll see who they want to go into ultimately. Because I can always, if I pivot back into Indeedee, I can always reset the Trick Room if we want to. Or if we like where we're at with the Trick Room, I can always keep it. But again, it looks like their team is probably trying to want to set up Trick Room. And we'll see who they want to lead out with this. We shall see. We shall see. But I think Iron Hands might be an option, right? Iron Hands is definitely an option. This little fake out setup. And who is it going to be? It's going to be Iron Hands and Murkrow. Okay. So Iron Hands and Murkrow is going to come out here. I mean, they can always haze me, which is a huge problem. Haze could be a big time problem. Haze is a huge problem, so maybe I just want to Final Gambit and get rid of Murkrow. 
<laughs> I could I could do that. Um I might just play with you. I might just play with this uh with what we have. I might just you turn out and then just expand in force. Right? I mean he might terror here. He's got a terrasize. But yeah, that actually screwed me over. There's a problem with going for the U-turn combo right now. The problem with going with the U-turn combo is he could just haze me, no problem. He can legit just haze me, no problem. And that would just be a waste of my waste of my plays, right? But I'm definitely surprised that he goes into Murkrow and Iron Hands without faking me out. Because now I can get off a big time expanded force and have a high chance of actually KO in this uh this Iron Hands. I don't mind it one bit. I don't mind it one bit. Because he didn't Terra. And he's attacking with the Murkrow. I wonder what he's doing. I'm kind of confused. But Expanded Force is going to fly here. Doesn't affect Murkrow. He's probably going to KO Iron Hands, right? No, we don't pick up the KO. But we get off some nice damage. Snarl's going to come out here. That's a little scary. And we'll kind of go from there. We shall go from there. Now let's see what Iron Hands is doing. I do have my weak armor popping. That's pretty good. So he could haze me here if he wants to, but I think Iron Hands just takes me out, right? What are you doing, Iron Hands? EQ! Okay, that's a little scary. That's definitely taking out my armors, right? Unless you could soak up. Nah, you're de Oh, you can! Wow, we like that. So my weak armor's here. I feel like he has to go for a, uh... I feel like he has to go for a... A, uh, haze here, right? If you don't go for haze, I'm just gonna rip into the Pokemon. But I wanna see my Pokemon speed. Yeah, you're gonna outspeed... Indeed, he's going to outspeed this Iron Hand, so just going into his Psychic is fine. And I could go into an Aurora Spear, or I should just pop a Heat Wave. That's exactly what I should do. I mean, Murko outspeeds all of us, so I do want to keep the Psychic on Iron Hand just in case. So I'm going to Psychic you. And Psychic actually has no... Hmm. Do I still Heat Wave? Yeah, we're still going to Heat Wave. And we're going to go for, for the Heat Wave here. So Heat Wave flies. This should double KO, right? It does not double KO. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. And I'm really surprised this Pokemon has not set up a Tailwind yet. I am really surprised at that. That no Tailwind has came out here yet. And I'm super surprised that that Heat Wave did not KO that Murkrow. I really wanted to, but it was able to soak up. But now we're sitting here with Indeedee. They got rid of our armors. We got rid of the Iron Hands. So I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Because so from here, I can go into you. Save my choice Scarf Pokemon. And get after the match that way. Because I really wonder who they're going to go into. Anything but Sylveon. I know they have Sylveon, but we'll see. We'll see who they want to go into here. Hey, that kind of sucks too. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that either. We're definitely going to have to Terrasilize our boy here. But uh, from here, I definitely want to Psychic you down. And I'm going to Terrasilize you into flying. And I really just want to pop a Rock Slide. But at the same time, I would love to pop a Terra Blast here as well. But I'm just going to Rock Slide. Just get rid of Murkrow. I'm just going to Rock Slide here. We have nice special defense right here with the Assault Vest. Terrestrialization is going to be huge for us. I'm kind of hoping he's just throwing a Moon Blast into our slot, you know? We'll see. But now would be the turn for Murkrow to pop the Tailwind, right? Now would be the turn for him to do it. If anything, now would be the turn for him to do it. Hmm. We'll see what Murkrow wants to do. Murkrow's a little, little scary boy, dude. Murkrow is nice with it. Murkrow is real nice with it. But yeah, we have to Terrasilize here. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going straight into flying because we can't deal with that Iron Valley. It has two... Both its typings are super effective on the T-Tar. We, we have to switch out here and get something cooking. And Tailwind finally flies for Murkrow. Okay. That's fine. Moonblast does come into Ndidi slot, which Ndidi soaks! Its special defense or special attack is real low. But we are going to chip up some nice damage onto this thing. And Rock Slide would take out the Murkrow. And then we also have... We also have... Choice Scarf Annihilate in the back end. And I don't know if Annihilate can outspeed with the Choice Scarf. They tail an Iron Valley, which is kind of scary, but... We're going to figure something out here. We're going to figure something out. So, Indeedee drops out here. This is going to be a close match. They still have Terra. They still have Terra. And it's probably going to be used on their final Pokemon. And I wonder who their final Pokemon is. That's the real question. That is the real question. We end up going into... Oh, it's going to be Torkoal. 
It's going to be Torkoal, and I want- Oh my god, is Torkoal fit? There's no way Torkoal's faster than my t right? Drought's out and about. And I feel like I just have to throw the punches on this thing, right? And just throw another rock slide. I feel like we just have to rip into this Torkoal slot, right? I feel like rock slide can do enough damage to maybe take out that Iron Valiant, and we just have to keep ripping into this thing. But the speed is definitely weird. They have they have Tailwind, but Torkoal's really slow. Moonblast's gonna fly here. My Annihilate can eat that. Love how much HP it has. Now close combat flies and chips up damage, but not too much damage. Can you go first, Titar? Titar, go first. Rock slide. Who you missing? Who you missing? Who just dodged that? Torkoal dodged that? Oh no. We know we outspeed it, which is good. We know we outspeed it, and Eruption's gonna come out here. That's gonna take out Annihilate. Can you eat that up, Titar? We eat up pretty well. We eat up pretty well. Did they use Terra already? Did they use Terra already? I'm very confused. But I'm just gonna pop another Rock Slide. I don't know how I missed that first one. Kinda hurts the soul. But we're looking for this win, yo. We're looking for this win. Rock Slide connects this turn. Does this KO straight up? It does, yo. Let's go. Let's go. Playing so good in the high match tier as of recently. Getting us started here 1 0. Let's hop through a second match. Let's go back to back. Second match coming at you guys. And we're going up against a really cool team. They got Iron Jugulus, Iron Moth, Iron Bundle, Fluttermane, and then Tauros and Garganacle. Okay, so four Paradox Pokemon, two non Paradox Pokemon, but that is the Water Tauros. Yes, it's the Water Tauros with Intimidate. Gotta watch out for that. But how should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like they're going to lead maybe like Iron Moth or something like that, right? Iron Jugulus isn't too bad for a lead here, but I could go in DD Armors. <laughs> I could just rip into that, but I don't really want to do that for you guys. Considering you guys see it all the time on the uh, on the rank ladder. So I do not want to do that. I do not want to do that. I kind of want to try to think of something a little bit different. I could go Annihilate, but Annihilate's really not that bad. Nice little start here. Uh, could do that. I could definitely rip into Annihilate. I'm kind of thinking about doing that. Let's go Annihilate. Let's go Annihilate here. So I can always U-turn out if I want to. So Annihilate is going to be our lead. I also want to... I kind of want to bring Glade. Even though, like, it's not the best. We're looking to have some fun today. I'm going to go Glade. <laughs> I'm going to go Glade. I'm going to bring Fluttermane. Then I'm just going to bring Titar. I think Titar can get some work done. Super effective onto a few. I like it. I like it a lot. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. Obviously, in DD Armors could just be the combo to kind of just, like, kill today's video. We can just rip into it, but... I don't want to do that for you guys. I, I want to I want to have some fun. I want to bring some cool content for you guys. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it. So we'll see who they end up leading. Tauros and Floody Floods. And of course, I'm going into two physical attackers. Absolutely atrocious. It's atrocious. Uh, we have the Choice Scarf. So I feel like we just turn out of here. I could U-turn. I could stay in here. I, I feel like we have to U-turn here, right? I'm just going to U-turn into the Flutter main, and I could Psycho Cut. I do have Shadow Sneak as well. I think I'm just going to Psycho Cut this thing. Screw it. Yeah, we're minus one. We need to get off some big time damage. Aqua Jet's coming in hot here. Taking off my Sash, which is definitely a little scary. I'm going to U-turn out here. <laughs> do like one damage, and pretty much my Gallade's dead, because we know Gleam's coming in here, right? So we can't go into T-Tar. We got to go into a Flutter main of our own. I mean, we could go into T-Tar, but not our best bet. Not our best bet. Probably should have just Shadow Claw on that thing. Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak would have been our play. Because Gleam's going to fly here and take out Gallade, no problem. That sucks, man. That sucks. So we got to hope that our Flutter make it out speed. Because I'm going to go back into Annihilate. And I'm just going to Shadow Claw this thing, right? Because that was just an awful play by us. We should we have just went after Flutter main, but I could have sworn it was going to Terra. But now I'm just going to choice to the Shadow Claw. I'm going to double down into it, and that's when Gleam's going to also fly. Maybe we should have Thrasilized our uh, Water Main, but that's totally fine, because he just protected there. So he's going to end up protecting. Shadow Call is going to fly. This is KO. It does. It does. Lovely Annihilate. Love you. Love the Choice Scarf on the Annihilate. So a terrible play from us turn one, but we're, we're starting to make up for it. We're starting to make up for it. So we'll see who they want to go into next. I could have Terrasized my Glade, which would have been a really solid play. Because I do have, I think I have Steel Terror on that. I think I do, but they're going to throw out their next Pokemon. Gleam is still probably the play. It's going to be Gargi. Gargi Gargi's going to come out here. That is ugly. That is really ugly. 
I'm gonna do this and I'm just gonna hard swap into T-Tar. I'm hard swapping into T-Tar here. 100% my play. Gotta get out T-Tar here because I can Terra. I have low kick. Um, I might not. I probably won't even want to Terra. But I need to reset. I need to reset my choice card there. I 1000% need to reset my choice card and just get after the match. So we're gonna end up seeing a Terra probably from. The Taurus, right? No, straight on to you. What are you going into? A poison type. You're going into a straight poison type. Oh, Aqua Jet might be able to take out my my Fluttermane, which could be scary. Can you eat this? You can. I love you. That's a big time eat. Gleam is going to now fly. We are going to take out the Tauros. And hopefully that Gargoyle Aqua goes after my Fluttermane slot, right? I'm going to hope that. Rather than my T-Tar. Oh, no. Life Orbs can KO me? No, I survived. Okay, but... Ah, but... Hmm, that's terrible. That iron defense is huge. And I don't really know how to deal with this Pokemon. <laughs> I don't really know how to deal with this Gargi right now. Do I have any way... I gotta, like... I don't think I have any ways to deal with that thing. I still have Terra. It is down to a 2v2. This is atrocious. This is atrocious. I can gambit it. That's my play, right? I have to gambit in 1v1. It's, it's my play. I have to gambit in 1v1. It's an absolute must. I have to gambit and I have to one, turn this into 1v1. Yes, 100%. Um, what is Jugs typing? Is flying in dark or flying dragon? What is it? Flying dark. Okay. But even Terra here? But, yo, we have to gambit. We have to gambit this thing. And I could pop a rock slide if I want to. Rock slide's definitely a play, but do we Terra? I really want to tear into flying, but I feel like this thing can tear into steel. We do have assault best, but yo, Gambit's Gambit's got to be played. But I am gonna go for Rock Slide just to chip up some more damage. He ends up protecting. Hmm, that sucks. That really sucks. Because Gambit gets blocked. Gambit gets blocked. Can you go first, Titar? I don't think you outspeed. No, Air Slash comes in here. That makes my Gambit only do 59 damage. Oh, oh. I needed that Gambit. I needed that Gambit really bad. I needed that Gambit more than anything. But now I'm forced to go into a Gambit. And I can't Terra. I cannot Terra because I have. I don't want to Terra into flying. I don't know. Dude, I don't think we have this match. We definitely want to go into another Rock Slide. 100% at play. <laughs> but the leftover is just doing me dirty. Gambit's coming out here doing that much damage. Choice into that. Wow, we need that was great protect from him. Really good protect from him. Dark Pulse now flies here. Chips up a little bit of damage, but nothing crazy. Box side's gonna fly here. And this guy can pretty much purify salt me right down. We get a crit. We do get a crit, which was huge. But we need a flinch. We need flinches. We need flinches, all that good stuff. Salt here. So, our opponent's just gonna protect and play this one out, right? Come on, man. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like this. At least the Buffett's kind of neglected leftovers. But I feel like he's just gonna protect this turn. Oh, man. Not Salk here. Do me dirty. Do me dirty. I don't want to lose this match like this. So, you got 75. This one's gonna do a little bit more. We could also lower defense with this. So, yeah, I'm just going to go for the Crunch. There's no need for us to Terra. Terra just makes us worse. Protect comes out from him. This one's going to be real close. Real close. I know it's a plus two on defense. We kind of need, like, a defense drop. It's coming down to it. It's coming down to it. It's coming down to it. Buffets are helping us out tremendously here. Um... Just letting the salt here chip up. He's gonna throw another salt here onto me. Gonna be close. Can we get another crit, please, and thank you? Let me get a crit here. That rock side got a crit last time, which was huge. Or crunch flies here. Give me defense drop. Give me defense drop. Oh, you have recover. Oh, got my hopes up for nothing. If he didn't have recover, I was gonna say we win the match, I think. But no, it has recover. Doing me so dirty. That's the game. That's the game. Gotta keep my T-Tar alive now.
Got to keep my T-Shirt alive. Unless we get a crit. I mean, is there any way we can do this? Might as well stay in here. Of course he protects. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. French is going to get blocked. There's no way we win this match. It's just Salt Cure City right now. Plus now leftovers are in full effect. Sandstorm's over. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a second battle, though. Pretty solid all around. Messed up my first turn, but made a nice little comeback here. We definitely got to get a lead in that third and final battle. Use it up a little bit. But yeah, I'm just going to run this one. Keep my lovely little T-Tar alive here. And hop into a third and look for a winning record. Third and final match coming at you guys. Sitting at 1-1. One one, but we're going up against a Corviknight and Garchomp team. Haven't seen Garchomp on the ladder in a little bit. Considering Fluttermane just counters it 100%. But they also have Roar Moon, Amoongus, T-Tar, and Fluttermane. If I did not already mention Fluttermane. But gotta kick Gallade back out here. Gallade got absolutely ripped on in match number 1. So I am going to lead the Gallade yet again. Got the Focus Ash on it. Get ready to rip with it. But they can definitely lead Corvo. Corvo is definitely a potential lead. Uh, who do I want to go into? kind of counter Corvo. We don't really have too much to counter Corvo besides little fiery arm rouge guy. Kind of want to do that. Kind of want to do that, right? Or I can just go straight into you and gambit it. Kind of like that a little bit better. So I am going to go Annihilate here and I'm going to go into Glade and then on top of that, I could go in DD for support, but I definitely want Fluttermane. And then last but not least, I could go Titar. Titar's solid. Titar's not too shabby. Got a few moves you can rip into. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Titar. I'm gonna go Titar. We're gonna bring the whole bottom row. We're gonna keep our moves and DD out of here. You guys seen it plenty of times. I showcased it on the channel hundreds of times. Use it probably in like most teams, considering every single rental code has it, especially for high ladders. But yeah, we're, we're chilling with this team. We're looking for this winning record. But that last battle, I made an awful play in the beginning. Just let my Galate go out. I could have Shadow Sneaked and Shadow Call instead of overthinking it. But they end up going Amoongus alongside with. Roaring Moon. The Moon Moon versus I Annihilate. So I'm thinking of just gambiting the uh the moon, right? The thing is if we gambit, then it uh what's it called? It could also mm, I'm just gonna U-turn. You know, I'm gonna U-turn. The reason I'm gonna U-turn more so than anything is because I think Rage Powder definitely could come in here. Plus you might thrash slides, we can kinda go after off of that. And we'll see what he wants to do. And yeah, there's Thrasslas. So I was just going to uh, Gambit that, but again, I, Rage Powder might come out here, and I really don't want to waste my Gambit on Amoongus. I'm going to have Psycho Cut flying through here. So if it's going for Acrobats on me, I can just hard swap into T-Tar, and we can get after it that way. So we'll see. Okay, so it is going for straight Acrobatics into me. Or maybe into my Gallade. You never know. But Gallade has a Sash, which is lovely. But I can now roll into my lovely little T-Tar, and we'll set the weather. We get Buffett's flying, and more importantly, it can outbulk in Acrobatics all day. But not a bad turn from us there. Acrobatics does come out here. And is it going after T-Tar? It is. T-Tar soaks rather well, even though it did a lot of damage. But Psycho Cut now flies and just rips into Amoongus. There it is, Gallade. That's what I wanted you to do. Something like that. Something like that. So we get rid of that pesky little Amoongus Spore Pokemon. Solid first turn. Solid first turn from us. And we still have our Gambit Pokemon for back end. Lovely. Lovely. Garchomp is now next Pokemon to come out here. Uh, you outspeed my Galeed. Might outspeed my Galeed. Might outspeed my Galeed. And the thing is here, I think a Protect, or I just think a free EQ is coming out here, right? I might Terrasslash you. I might tear and pop a Rock Slide. I'm just gonna, I'm definitely protecting the lead. I'm definitely protecting the lead. And I kind of want to rasslize because I feel like you got to be going for EQs. I feel like EQs are an absolute must to come out here. Maybe not. He's hard swapping. I'm just gonna save that Pokemon for later. And Corvo, Corvo's gonna come out here. So if Corvo comes out here, I can always gambit that. I still have Fluttermane in the back end. I do like Fluttermane. Got the lovely little flutz. I am scared of that, uh, War Moon. And I still think EQ's come out here. Flying Pokemon out on the field. We're tearing into flying here. I know it has Rock Side, but I just feel like this is a play. Just dodge an EQ. And we'll just protect Gallade this turn. Protect my Gallade. EQ does come out here. Solid. Solid terror from us. We make the nice read. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
They still have. Oh no, they don't have Terror. None of us have Terror. Garchomp, of course, dodges that. At least we hit up on the Corvo. Um. What's the play now? What is the play now? Hmm. Baker Sword, you and. I'll throw another Rock Slide. I think we just double down into Garchomp slot. I don't see Garchomp protecting this turn. Nope, goes for an Iron Head. Ships up a little bit of damage. Can we outspeed it? We go for Secret Sword. That's some big time damage. Rough Skin's gonna chip us up. What are you going for? Tailwind? Maybe Corvo? You going for Tailwind here? Oh, you also have Rocky Helmet. That sucks. Rough Skin and Rocky Helmet. Ah! Chip up some me damage, but we get rid of Garchomp. Um, we're gonna have to Gambit one of them. Hopefully no Tailwind comes out of here. Hopefully you just straight up attack me, right? No Tailwind. Iron Defense, yeah, you're getting Gambit all day long. I'm coming out there, sending the Gambit straight to your nose. And we're doing it that way. We're doing it that way. Does C-Tar go down here to Buffets? It does not. It does not. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Psycho Cut could come out here, or Sacred Sword. Probably Psycho Cut is a little bit better. So I'm going to go Psycho Cut here, and I'm just going to go for Rock Side if I can. But Gambit has to come out against, up against the Corvo Knight. Tailwind is scaring me. If he sets up Tailwind, he pretty much can lock this match down. But he has not set up Tailwind yet. So we're going to hope for the best here. We're going to hope for the best here. Acrobatics do come out here. Who are you going after? You got to be Titar. No, you take out my Galeen. You're going to let me get off this... This Rock Slide? You are. My Rock Slide comes out here. Oh my lord. And that thing survives on one, but it's all good. That's pretty much GG, right? That's pretty much GG. It is game over because War Moon's going to die to Buffets. Thank the Lord. And then I just gave it into the sea and I had man. G to the Gs. Come on, man. It's too easy. It's too easy killing it today on the rank ladder. Two and one. Love grabbing myself some winning records, man. Cannot go wrong with it. Always fun to pop out, have a good recording. But Annihilate's been solid. I love the choice card for Annihilate. I really do. He's really fun to use. And he can definitely, he's definitely so versatile too with the U-turns and all that. Just amazing. But from here, I feel like it's just game set match with this Gambit. We just Gambit and, I mean, I guess we'll throw Shadow Ball if need be. But yeah, it's over with. Gambit coming out here. Sending it. Get on out of here, Corbo. Get on out of here. We sacrifice our Annihilate for that. And our Fluttermane is the last standing game set match. 2-1 for today's video. Nice, lovely winning record for you guys. Nice set of battles for today's video with this Arm Rouge and the Ndidi team. We did not use it as much as we should have because, again, want to make some good content for you guys. But Arm Rouge and Didi obviously could have came in there every single battle and dominated them. But I feel like we had a lot of fun. We got Kalade out there. We got Titar out there. And we caught two wins and only lost one battle. That's a dub in my book. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.